The dog days of summer are making life miserable for some students and staff. Today, school officials renewed their call for more funding to fix and repair aging AC units. With temperatures climbing into the 90s, some 44 school buildings are struggling to keep cool. We are experiencing an unprecedented amount of work orders uh, within our HVA system specifically. School administrators say they currently have more than 500 work orders involving AC problems. The superintendent says school buildings average more than 50 years of age, and many of them lack routine maintenance because of a lack of funding. And certainly facilities is critical because no learning will take place if we can't uh, keep students in school. The temperature isn't the only thing heating up in Guilford County. Earlier this week, tempers flared and a fight broke out at Northeast High School. This fight lasted less than 20 seconds when you look at videos from it. It was over quickly, the staff responded very quickly and were able to keep things calmed down and got that to happen very quickly. No arrests were made and school officials had no comment about possible suspensions. On a positive note, the superintendent reports no teacher shortage in Guilford County. Right now we have zero teacher vacancies, not even uh, in uh, special education, which is very difficult to fill. While some school districts reportedly struggled to find teachers for this year, Guilford County did not. We were able to offer $20,000 signing bonuses to teachers to come into the district. That really helped us. The superintendent warns parents about student test scores scheduled to come out next week. She expects them to show a sharp decline and blames the problem on the pandemic and virtual learning. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.